Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm heading out right now, just down the street. I'm sure most of you know that Thai massage is known around the world. However, I've never had a massage in my life. Um, not a professional one, and I'm not really big on people touching me that much, so I want to experience it. I want to do it because I think it's like a really, you know, significant part of the culture here, a significant part of traveling here. But yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be nice. All right, I'm the only one here. I, no one told me anything. I don't even know if I'm supposed to take my shirt off or what the fuck. I'm really, really uncomfortable. Just took one look at my feet and then left the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, after that little massage, that was uh, not a happy finished massage, you creepy weirdos. Also, as I mentioned before, I never had a massage, so I don't really feel super comfortable with people, strangers especially, touching me. And uh, that being said, it was very good. You know, my body is extremely relaxed, but uh, I'm a little mind stressed out, you know? We're going over to the Museum of Contemporary Art to go check that out, because it's actually just down the street. And uh, Pachaya's mom's driving me over. They've been really generous and really kind to me since I got here. The language barrier has been uh, doing all right. I'm uh, just not very good with Thai, you know? Before we go inside, check this statue out, man. That's, that guy's got a bit of everything. Just a bit of everything. Unlike its neighbors, Thailand was never formally colonized. That being said, it wasn't a smooth road till today and it's still not a smooth road here. Because of this, I think Thailand shares a much more direct connection with its history, its art and its culture. Thailand's history is full of monarchy, of military rule, of compromises to foreign powers, and of threat of invasion. Thailand's road to democracy has been far from smooth. Similarly to how Thailand would adopt new technologies from foreign interests while still trying to keep them at bay, you can really see a strong connection to that history in the art here. The artwork here is neither modernist nor postmodernist, but instead seems to opt for a neo-traditionalist. The styles and forms are familiar to us in the West, but the subject matter is very different. Themes of struggle, of compromise, of exploitation, all of these issues are commonplace in Thai history, but are no less important today than they were 200 years ago. Lastly, this art gallery, like many other art galleries, is a little sterile and stark and clean and spacious. It's quite the stark contrast from my experience yesterday downtown Bangkok, so it's also important to remember that although this art is academic and important and relevant, it's maybe not relevant to all Thai, and that's no less true in my own country. in downtown, Pachai has got one more meeting, which is why she's dressed so fancy-like. She's even got heels you. on. I can hear you, you don't, right? Yeah, well, I'm used to speaking English and no one understanding me, so oh, I'm having a good time with it. The shopping malls here are a little bongo bong crazy. I'm gonna try and find a new light for this guy. The floor below me was all cell phone stuff, a couple camera stores, but now I'm on the camera floor. So most of this shit's camera shit. Oh, 
Ayo. Welcome, Saul. Now I'm back to being short again. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> All right, after a little brief shopping trip, today's been a very, very strange day for me. We're at a family, we're doing a family restaurant, Delio, with the whole family, Jaya's whole family, and they couldn't decide what we'd want to go eat. So we're at a restaurant that literally has three different menus. An Italian menu, a sushi bar menu, and a Vietnamese and Thai. So that's technically a double one right there. So yeah, four for one. <laughs> Who's, whose fault is this? My dad. It's because <laughs> It's kind of like a spring roll, crab mm. with crab meat. That's um, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's pork, I think, and that's shrimp. One and uh, if you want, if that's you garlic. Want, uh, hot, so this is chili. Yeah, this is chili, and I uh, want banana. Oh yeah, raw, bana it, it. raw banana. That's banana. Yeah, the yes. white one. Oh raw man. Banana. And this is uh, not even mango. Mango. A uh, raw mango. Uh, it's like a sweet sauce on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to eat the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one has shrimp meat and it's all wrapped around a sugar cane. The sugar cane's cooked up, so you can actually chew the whole damn thing, but it's, it is a little stiff. But it is so good. The shrimp meat is so tender, and the sugar cane is just, you know, that nice stiffness that really juxtaposes it well. <laughs> Look at this thing, holy crap. Pretty <laughs> food? Wow. <laughs> Hello from the center of Bangkok. This thing right over here, this money. This, this little penis shaped thing, center of Bangkok, had an amazing, luxurious dinner with the family and uh, now Pachaya and I are headed out for drinks. So we're right in the middle of Bangkok, looking for the good stuff. Pachaya knows where it's at, so let's go. <laughs> That's the bar we're going to, it's called Heap. Heap? Yeah. It's it very... looks like a heap of fun. Yeah, man. And like, they have three branches, it's super famous. If you come here on like Friday night, you don't book a table, you won't get it. But today is Tuesday, so it's gonna be quite empty. <laughs> because people here are not alcoholics. Nothing we are. Yep.